What's up ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today for you, I have a pretty interesting video. I've never seen this before. It is how to prepare for someone to watch your children. Now, I am taking my son to New York. It's just gonna be me, my husband, and my son. And um, we're so excited. It's for his 10th birthday. This is like his dream trip. I'm terrified, terrified, petrified. I have to leave my two little babies. They're two years old and nine months. And then I'm, my daughter's gonna be here, but you know, she's a big girl. She can take care of herself. Um, not alone, of course, but you know, it's easier for someone to watch her than it is for two little babies. So I'm super nervous and I thought it would be such a good video about how to prepare for someone to take care of your kids, how to make it easier for them, easy for your kids, and how the transition can be the least painful as possible for everybody. So I've compiled a list of things that I wanna do for you guys um, to show you guys that you can do to prepare for your next trip. So if you're interested in seeing how to make sure your little rugrats are being taken care of, then just keep watching. Okay, you guys, number one, first most important thing is contact emergency contact information. So I have a whole list of information that I'm gonna be giving the person that's watching my baby and it's in a binder. And I have medical cards, um, just everything you could possibly think of that she's gonna need inside of this binder. I also put extra cash. I mean, you never know, hey, maybe they wanna order pizza. Um, just a little bit of cash for her, God forbid there's some kind of emergency that she has something. And then, um, also, I have, with all the emergency stuff, I have the medical cards, all that, but I also have um, my keys, like all the keys, just in case like there's an emergency, she needs to go somewhere, and go to the hospital, whatever it is, like God forbid they don't have to go to the hospital. But um, I have all of that in one place. You guys, so here is my emergency binder. I just finished all of my emergency stuff, so I checked that off, checked that off on my list. And um, on the front here, it's all of the emergency information. My mother-in-law's coming, um, but this could be for a babysitter, whoever, and it stays the same until I need to update it, which I just recently moved, so everything did need to be updated. Okay, so you need to tell them where they are located. If there's an emergency, they need to know what their address is, so I put that here. I have the hospital, I have mine and Nick's numbers, I have uh, John, which is Nick's brother, and his information, and then I have a friend here listed, and then I have the police department, so everything there is covered. I have to show you guys that on this little console table in my kitchen, I'm putting the schedule, all the emergency numbers and information are on the inside, and I switch them, I put the schedule on the outside, Sorry about somebody coming into my door. Um, and I switched them out so she can just easily reference this. And then I have all of our first aid stuff. I have Tylenol for her, cause huh, she might need it with all my children. And then I have a thermometer, just everything she could possibly need for first aid for the kids. So I keep this all right here in my kitchen. Number two, this one is for my son. He's crazy. And I love him to death, but he's just at that age. He's two years old. And I do have to say, I've had um, two other two-year-olds, and so far he's my third one, and he is off the hook. Girl, let me tell you, like this baby, he, think he, has, he thinks he has superpowers, and I just, I just sometimes don't even know what to do. I'm like, am I a bad mom? Like, what is going on? Like, how come he's just like into everything? But his just mind is just like growing and working so fast and he's just so smart. He wants to like take things apart and feel stickers and color on things and he's just into that. My other kids were never like that, but he is just, he's his own person. So what I'm gonna do is I'm writing down a whole list of all the things that he's done that aren't safe. Because somebody is coming to your house, they've never been here or they have been here, but um, they don't live here on a regular basis. So we're making a list so they can just see the things that you think of automatically because you're here every day and you experience them, but you're just giving them a list of ideas of what um, you know he gets into or things that he's you know regu regularly into that he's not supposed to. Show you on the back side of the schedule, this is the safety precautions. These are safety precautions in my house. You can obviously, yours will be different, but I think this is such a good thing to have because 
It's just things that people may not think about that you think about or that you've experienced already with your kids. So I have the front door. My kid has tried to escape. I have the stairs. Both babies are trying to climb up the stairs now. Lucky me, right? The fireplace, um, open doors, any open doors, my kid is in there and he is like having the time of his life. Huh? Yeah, little monster. Okay, then um, keeping all the gates closed and you can turn on alarms if you like. So I put these little like window alarms from Amazon on my gates. I can show you guys those in the future if you guys wanna see those. But they just have a sound to them and they make a really loud alarm. So if, one of, if somebody gets out and you're like running to the bathroom or something, then you know what's going on. Okay, then there's an empty pond outside. He tries to get in, chair and step stool. He's been pushing um, them up to the counter to climb up. All right, so then I have stuff to do. These are all ideas or things, and I just want them to know where the stuff is. I have a bin for Koa that has toddler stuff that he can do in his high chair because some of them he needs supervision. And then I have a bin for Jadiana of stuff she can do. The backyard Koa can play with his water table while Sophie goes in her jumper. Um, and then I have movie, movies and snuggle time, and then they can rent or buy whatever movies they want and have fun. Number three. Now, this is vital for me. I'm a schedule person. Like, I don't know if you guys saw my other videos, but I am just, um, I like to be organized and everything thrives on a schedule in our household. If I don't have a schedule, nothing gets done, especially with four kids. I always get the question like, how do you do your hair and your makeup? And how do you do all these things? Because I have a schedule. You have to make time to do things. And I would love to do like a whole video. Let me know if you guys are interested on how you make time. But yeah, there was a point where I just thought I sucked. I hated my life. I didn't even think that, um, you know, I was just like, I have kids. I can't do anything. I can't even be me anymore. You just go through this like, like losing yourself. You know, I never understood that, but you know, I feel like mama got her groove back and I feel so good. And you know, even when I'm not filming or whatever, I still get up, I get ready. Like one day I got up, I did my hair and my makeup. I didn't even see anybody except for my husband. And that was enough for me because I want to please him and make him feel, you know, attracted to me because he's attracted to me, not because of my hair and my makeup, but because I feel good when I put it on. So basically what I'm saying is I have a schedule and I schedule everything out and in order for my family to thrive and for me to do the things I like to do, I have to have a schedule. And it is so important that you give this schedule to the person because you know, let's just say when they used to have kids or whatever, they would put their kids down for a nap at nine. Well, my kids don't go down for a nap until 1130 and they both go down. And then the second nap, only one kid goes down. So they should know these types of things. Or, oh, she's super fussy. Well, if you look at the schedule, you're gonna know, oh, she's getting fussy because it's time for her bottle or whatever it is. Or, oh, she's hungry. Or, oh, it's nap time. It basically alleviates the stress that the person watching your kids is gonna have by watching, um, by looking at that schedule. They're not gonna feel as stressed out. So the schedule is all of the times and which task it is and all of the notes. So this is gonna be for my mother-in-law, but if I need to update it for a babysitter or whoever, I can do so. Let's give you some examples. So 11.30, nap for both babies and bottle for Sophie. Koa, he will be upset for his nap, but just make him do it. He'll be happy when he wakes up. Make sure all doors are closed and safety locks are on. He gets into everything. Here's a note for Sophie. Same bottle instructions as above. So I've already listed the bottle instructions under her first bottle. So she may cry to sleep, which is fine. So just to let people know a heads up, like how your babies are gonna act and that it's completely normal. It's good to keep people posted that don't normally watch your kids. So let's go down to the bottom um, for eight o'clock baby bedtime. Both babies go to bed. Trust me, by this time you'll need them too. They will be less grouchy if, if they go to bed on time. Koa can stay up an extra half hour or so if you want. Make sure all doors are closed and safety locks are on. And I list this again because, hey, people don't normally watch your kids. It's good to just continue to list it if you need to. And whatever gives you a peace of mind, that's what this is all about. And JD can stay up with you as long as you want. I put, I have ice cream and junk food for you guys. Have fun. You wanna play with that? My baby just walked in the kitchen. You wanna play with that? Oh, this is another thing that I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, so this is like one of the mats that I have. You want a color? Oh yeah, so it's filled with water. So he can just literally 
color my baby's in a diaper don't mind that he's like mobley but so it does not get messed up like the walls or anything because the water that you put inside obviously it's water so it's not going to damage anything yeah the paintbrush go ahead baby so i got this off of amazon and he absolutely loves it oh we got to put water in that mommy fill it up one second okay use the other one for now okay okay so then on the inside of here I have that calendar that I showed you guys with all of our flight information. And then I have CDs with all of our um, pictures that are important we don't wanna lose. Like I said, this is the binder we grab if there's a fire. So in here I have all the medical cards and anything. Um, she probably would only need medical cards if anything, but this is all our important information. And just so you guys can see, I have Roman, Jadiana, Nicoa, and Sofiana. These are all of their little tabs that I have it divided by, but this system definitely helps you guys. Me. So now I have the stuff to do bins for the kids while I'm gone. Obviously Roman is gonna be with me. We're taking him on an alone trip. So the person, the two people that are watching my kids um, will have the three little ones. Okay, so this first bin is my toddler bin. This is for my two year old. And these are things that keeps him busy. So he has that water thing, that water mat. That's what goes in here in this little Ziploc bag. I have a foam puzzle. And then I have all of these little busy little packs for him to play with. These are all like learning things that I've made. And if you guys want to see these, I can show you that. You could probably hear all of my monsters in the background, I'm sure, because I have four kids. So yeah, my house is noisy. All right, so then these are, oh my gosh, Koa loves these. You string them through, and I would never think that a two-year-old would love these, but he absolutely loves these. Okay, then I made this little package for him, which kind of looks crazy, but it's cotton balls and all of these different little things for him to play with. So I have like some tongs, a giant spoon, and he's got a couple like little paper bowls and an ice cube tray. So he scoops them out. He can like dump them all out and do whatever he wants. And it's a fairly quiet thing he can do because it's cotton balls, let's be honest. It's not gonna be noisy. Okay, so that's the stuff for him. Oh, and then the little ball thing, which I showed you guys um, a little bit. Okay, so this is underneath my microwave. This is a cabinet that I keep in, that's in my kitchen, not that I keep in my kitchen, but this is where those two bins that I showed you are gonna be located. So this is the art bin for Jade, and this is the busy bin for Koa. And then I wanted to show you guys, I have the little toy right there, but these are paper placemats. You can rip them off, they can do art on top of them or whatever, you can, use them when they're eating and then I have this plastic and what's cool is you can wipe it down and reuse it but it's on a roll I got this from Oriental Trading Company and it comes on a super fat roll I got mine on like really like discounted clearance for like three dollars the part for preparing for someone to watch your kids where I set out all of their clothes for the four days that I'm gonna be gone I have their pajamas I even have their diapers and um, I have two outfits in each pile I have shorts for my son. I even have my daughter's underwear for each day. So literally everything is all set out. So whoever's watching your kids, this is just one less thing that they have to think about. And trust me, they are gonna thank you. Hey guys, here is the second half to my order. Um, just so they have all the groceries, everything they could possibly need. I got their favorite cereal. They absolutely love this stuff. I got um, some organic gluten-free waffles just to make things easier for breakfast as well as this. Now I don't always order these, but sometimes you need these in your life, right? I had to get my daughter a little bit of junk food, obviously because her older brother is coming with us to New York. So, you know, I had to like let her splurge a little bit too because I know we are. Um, she loves goldfish. I got her some Oreo Thin Bites. Now we never have junk food in the house. So this is a treat, like never. Like ever, ever. If we want something, we go get it. So we never have soda in the house, ever. And she said one request, she wanted some orange soda. I probably should have just got a two liter. I don't know why I clicked this, but you know, you just get trigger happy and start clicking away. Um, I got them, I don't use the microwave, okay? I like doing stove top um, 
popcorn. But when you have people over, not everybody's a weirdo like you and they don't mind using the microwave. So I got them some microwave popcorn and then I got my mother-in-law some fruit. I got her some cherries, which these look really good. And then I got, oh, some Lay's potato chips and they can make onion dip. And I got some organic sour cream, which I don't see. So maybe they were out of it. I'll have to pick that up later. But I got some more baby food so she can have a variety. Just a couple more little packs. I got some crescent rolls. So if she wants to do like turkey bacon and crescent rolls or something, you know, special in the morning, she can. I ordered a bundle of bananas, but I guess I ordered one. I don't know what people are thinking. Like who would need one banana? All right. So then um, this is a creamer reuse. I've tried my hardest to use organic creamer, but when you need a coffee, I just feel like it just doesn't give it to me like I need it. Okay, so then I have organic milk, which I accidentally ordered too. So yeah, we have two giant things of milk, so I hope they use them. Then I have more packs of baby food. I really like these kinds. When I get back home, I'm gonna start adding a little bit more chunkiness to her um, to her diet because these are very, you know, she's getting a little older now so she can have more variety. But I got some macaroni and cheese. I ordered two, but only one came. So maybe that's all they had. Her little baby snacks. She always has some organic Greek yogis and some more puffs because you can never have enough. Okay, so then I wanted to show you guys, I stick all of my like special treats, stuff that I normally don't have in my house in this bin. So I have it accessible to everybody. My daughter doesn't normally get soda or any of these things. So this is like special for her. And it's kind of, I don't always like to like reward or comfort with food, but sometimes it's nice for a special occasion. So I'm giving her or letting her have some of this. And then I also have ice cream in the freezer. So I think we're gonna have a happy house. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video of how I prepared for someone to come watch my children. This was definitely a video that I enjoyed doing because I want to give you a peace of mind and let you know that yes, it's possible you can do it. You can leave your little ones at home if you have someone you can trust, of course. And um, th this whole process made it so much easier for me and just gave me that extra peace of mind that I needed. So I have a little travel series, like this was the beginning of it all. And I'm gonna be doing what's in my suitcase, what's in my makeup bag, what's in my travel bag, um, excuse me, like my carry-on bag and what's in my toiletry bag. So if you want to see those, make sure you hit the bell so you get notified after you hit the subscribe button. And then if you like this video and you want to see more like this in the future, definitely give me a thumbs up. But I enjoyed doing this video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I look forward to doing more in the future. Thanks again, you guys. I'm your girl, Always Lona Marie.